Hello guys, what's happening? It's your boy Dollar Graphics. Thank you so much for coming back. If you are here, if you are new here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so as to be notified when I drop a new video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to design a dinner night flyer. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, this is my core draw. I'm using the, the version of core draw. So what next I'm gonna do now is to create a new project. I'm gonna simply go over to this place where I have my plots and over here like this. I'll just go ahead and take it like this and have my page set up like this. So the size I'm using for this dinner nine flyer is a five size. In case your own is not in A5, I'll just go ahead to this side where you have your A5 size. If your own is in A4, I'll just go ahead I'll just go ahead and change it to A for A5 like this. So this is what we are having right now. So I'm gonna simply double also oh with this code now nah, this code doesn't allow me to use the future of duplicate on my rectangle to to fit into this my project. So I'm simply gonna draw a rectangle like this, then copy the property. Okay, come then come over to your property bar where you have your page dimension. I'll just go ahead and copy the figure from this side, control C, then select your box, then paste it over here like this, control V. Do the same thing to the other side, copy it like this, control C, then select it, control V. And I have it that way, so I'll just go ahead and hit P on my keyboard to fit into this my project like this. Yeah. So I head over to my property bar where I'm my outline pen to get click on this double arrow to get rid of the outline like this. And I have my feet like this. So what else I'm going to do now is to bring in the source I'm gonna be using for this tutorial. I have them over here in my page three. I just highlight them like this, control C on my keyboard, then come over to your project, control V to paste them, bring them to the other side, and scale them, scale them down like this. So the first one I'm gonna bring is, is this one that I have my dinner over here like this. So I'll just go ahead and position it this way. Just take your time to scale it up like this, like this. So I'll right click on it, then select, come over to this place where it says power clip or better still, I'll right click on it, then drag it to this side where, where your cursor changes from the normal one to something like looks like arrow shape or snapping shape rather, then release it at the same time. So it's going to pump up with this option, move here, copy here, power clip here or cancel. So for me, I'll just go ahead and choose this power clip inside and it's right inside my project. You go over to this place where it says edit, but for me, I'll just double click on it like this. Then I'll bring this one to the side and try to push on it where I want it. So what else I'm going to do now is to blend this side of the in the background, this dinner background over here like this. So I'm gonna simply go to my tools bar over here, make a selection of my transparency to then blend this side like this to blend with that of my background. And I have it like this. So what else I'm going to do now is to duplicate this my background i'm gonna simply hold down i'm gonna simply left click then drag it to the side then right click at the same time to replicate it so i would clear up the transparent effect on this one let's head over to this place my my transparency to then come back to your property bar this place where it says no transparency to move the transparency like this so i'm simply gonna blend this side like this yeah and have it this way then bring it to the side so I'm gonna desaturate this image. I don't want to, to have this color field. So I'll simply head over to my menu, my, my menu bar. This then if I come over to this place where it says adjust, then scroll all the way down to where to this place where it says desaturate, and have it this way. So I'm gonna come over to this place where it says finish like this and finish top like that. So what next thing I'm going to do now is to apply a gradient to this my project. So but before then, let me change this my image that I converted to black that I desaturate. Let me give it a blending option. So I hold down Alt on my keyboard, to make a selection of it is it like this. To make a selection of this desaturated image like this, then yeah, head over to your yeah. choose bar, this place, then head over to your property bar, change it from the normal to overlay. So you can see now you are not seeing it now. I'm going to apply a gradient to it to make it visible. So make it, select your project like this, then press G on your keyboard, or better still come over to this place where you have your gradient to interactive fit to over here like this, then make a selection of it, then drag it this way. 
<clears throat> so I'm gonna fill this with the with this side of the I'm gonna pick a color from this side of the background like this and fill it to this one like this yeah so I'm gonna give okay like this so I'll click on this side of the gradient like this then darken it a bit and get to this side like this let's take your time and do it properly so I'm gonna reduce the opacity for the inner one that I blend I change the blending mode to overlay make hold on to a keyboard to make a selection of it like this then select your transparency to then reduce the opacity to about 40 or so yeah and I'll be this way so what next I'm going to do is to bring in the test I'm going to be using for this flyer. I'll simply copy the side of the whole test name over here, highlight them, control C on my keyboard, then come back to your project, control V to paste them like that. So I'll simply type in the dinner night like this. Then I'll change the then I'll change the font to neon vampire over here like this. Then I'll scale it up like this. Let's try the position if I want it. So I'm gonna break it apart, control K my keyboard to break it apart. Then scale this up like this. Then position it over here. So I'm going to simply draw a rectangle to cut off the side of the test that I don't want. So I'm going to position it over here like this. Make sure position it over here like this. Then hold down shift on your keyboard by selecting the triangle that you drew. Then select the dinner like this. Then come back to your property bar. This place where it says triangle. Just go ahead and turn it that way. And have that side cut off. Now I'm going to position this one over here like this. I'll do the same thing. To this one, sorry, just go ahead and cut off this side that I don't want. Hold on, shift on your keyboard while selecting the boss, then select your ninth, then trim it this way again, and I have it trimmed out. So, what happened left is this. So, let's try to position it this way, yeah. So I'm gonna apply a gradient to it. Select the button, then then press join your keyboard to give it a gradient to. Then come over to this place. Pick your color dropper to your, your color dropper to. Then sample your color from this side again. And I apply it like that. So what next I'm going to do now is to duplicate this nine dinner ninth. So I'm gonna simply left click then drag it to this side then right click at the same time to duplicate it now i'm gonna get rid of the fill come over to this place where you have this your stroke out your fill out i'll just go ahead and left click on it then right click on this yellow outline like this like this so this is what I'm having right now so what next I'm going to do now is to bring in the test from this side like this I'll simply highlight them control C on my keyboard then come over to this place your project then control V to paste them like this so the font that I use let me get rid of the, this one so that I can show you where I come up with this I'm gonna delete this and delete this one also so I head over to my choose bar over here, pick, select your pen tool over here like this, then draw a narrow one like this, a narrow line like this, then in, head over to your property bar where you have your outline, then increase it to about 2, yeah, then centralize it with your page to your keyboard, 
then I'm gonna simply duplicate it, hold and shift on your keyboard, then left click and right click at the same time to duplicate it. So I'm gonna change this to this dot 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 that I will here like this. Yeah. So the font that I use for the 25th August is called Go Long. In case when I use it, the same thing that I use, you can just go ahead and download it like this. Go long. For the address name, it's called Monserrat. In case you want to download this, this is the name of the font that I use over here like this. You can just go ahead and download it for let me just give you this one and we do that again. So over this side I'll just go ahead and draw a circle like this and fix it over here like this then fill it with yellow color get rid of the outline in your property bar and scale it down a bit so I'm gonna simply draw a rectangle over here like this over here so I'm gonna fill that with this color over here like this and get rid of the outline again so I'll head over to my tools bar make a selection for my shape tool control Q my keyboard to convert it to curve then double click on this side to give it another node then select the side of the node hit delete on your keyboard do the same to the other side and hit delete like this and now this way so i'll just bring it back it away like this then bring it to this side like this the font that i use for the time is also it's also called go long because we are not alluded for the dress code is Montserrat. for the dinner night is called vamp Neon Vampire in case you wanna download it and you wanna use the same thing that I use. The test name is called Monserrat also for the present. It's called Monserrat in case you wanna use the same thing that I use. I'll simply go bring in this my flare. Okay, before that let me bring in this one. This my snow that I have over here. I'll simply scale it up like this, then bring it to the side. Right, right click and bring drag it to the side of your project where your cursor will changes from the normal one to something that looks like snap like snapping shape. And release it at the same time so we have this option to power clip it inside then now select it like this and it is right inside my project i'll hold on out on my keyboard then make a selection of it like this then bring it to the side so i'm going to change the blending mode from normal to screen so i'll head over to my tools bar over here where my transparency to make a selection of it then change your blending mode from the normal to screen then i'll just go ahead and reduce the opacity a bit like this and have it this way so what next i'm going to do now is apply this lens flare that i have over here so i'll simply bring it to this side control pitch up on your keyboard then scale it up a bit like this then change the blending mode from the normal to oh, to screen also so I'll, to do that i'll simply go to my tools bar where i have my transparency tool then change the blending mode from the normal to screen so i just go ahead and blow it a bit menu bar your we you have your menu bar effect then blow and gaussian blow yeah and i have this shirt okay let me try to bitmap it before i did that so i just bitmap it like this then do the same thing that i did earlier your transparency to then change the blend, blending mode from the normal to screen then i'll just go ahead and blow it now effect blow gun gaussian blow yeah and have it this way i just go ahead and take okay like this so this one i'm gonna do the same thing that i applied to this effect but this time i'm push i'm positioning it over here like this so i'm gonna bitmap it okay then change the blending mode from the normal to screen so uh, to do that to do that i simply go to my tools bar where i have my transparency to and change the blending mode from the normal to screen so i'm simply gonna blow it a bit Effect in your menu bar, blow, then go and blow. Yes, I'm just gonna let them blow it again. I just got and tick OK. Now right click on it, then select power clip and power clip inside the project and it is right inside it like that. So I just try to position it over here like this to make it look as if the shiny effect is coming from this side to this test effect like this to this step that I have over here like this so I'll do the same thing to this side like this yeah so this is how I was able to achieve this dinner ninth fly I hope you like this video please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so as to be notified when I drop a new video see you next time